I uh, started competing when I was 16. I went over to Greece and competed in the World Pencrushion Championships. Uh, I was representing Australia against the 16 other countries. I won gold in that. Uh, I think a year later I went pro. Um, I won the 2014 Brace Featherweight Championship. I uh, went on again to win the 2015 Brace Featherweight Championship and now fighting for super fight, lightweight title. Just come up a weight class, coming into the lightweight division from featherweight. Uh, just recently fought Josh Togo for the Urban Fight Night Championship. Um, took him out in the first round, he's a tough dude. So yeah, I'm coming in with a bit of momentum into this fight, looking to keep it going. Everything and anywhere that the fight can take place. I'm um, working my wrestling, my boxing. I've uh, got Jamie Pittman that I'm working with as well. My style has come forward, uh, I like to bang, I like to stand and give the crowd what they want. I like to take the fight anywhere, but I've uh, been caught in submissions before, um, managed to get out of them, so um, I'm ready for his submission game. My main inspiration is probably my coach, Noah Magnus. He's, uh, he's just an OG of the sport. Um, definitely drives me and pushes me to be the best I can be. Yeah, Abel Bright's is a tough guy. He's, uh, I don't know um, too much about him, but I know it's going to be a hard fight. I know Abel's got a good, well-rounded game, so I know a lot of his wins come by submission. It's going to be up and down, scrap, so yeah, whoever wants it more is going to get it, I think. Yeah, fighting for the super fight title is massive. Um, I just see it as putting my foot in the door and getting another belt, another another good promotion. My family and friends and all my supporters are a massive motivator for me, so fighting down in Sydney, down in Punchbowl, it's going to be a big crowd coming for the Malarkey Army. Respect to Abel, I'm expecting a tough fight, mate. Let's give the crowd what they want and put on a show.